<clears throat> right, so today I thought I'd talk about vintage versus modern, very, very modern sewing machines and some of the important considerations. So my first consideration is I'm going to only talk about high-end um, electronic brand new machines because those are what we're comparing against high-end vintage machines. So vintage machines, you'll recall, cost a lot of money when they were out. And high-end domestic um, electronic sewing machines like you get nowadays are really expensive as well. So I've been looking at a couple. Um, the Janome 15,000, the, I forgot what the memory memory, what I mean, the brain fails, but the 15,000 and comparing that to the Husqvarna Viking uh, Designer Epic or Diamond, but the Designer Epic is the newest and latest and greatest. So what they've all realized, yes, the um, Brother Innovus and the Faf as well, they all have, they're all much of a muchness in many respects. It's which one you like. So the first thing that always steered me away from these machines is they didn't have a straight stitch plate. The high-end machines all have a straight stitch plate. They've come to realize that free motion embroidery and embroidery and top stitching are all better and straighter with a straight stitch plate. So they have that. So that argument no longer applies. Will they be here in a hundred years? No. But they will be replaced by something else in a hundred years. So the fact that these vintage machines last forever um, is something to be said and if you maintain them they do last forever and do they work? Yes, they work very well. Do they have all the creature features of the new um, fancy machines? Absolutely not. Um, is there something that really impresses me versus this, that and the other between the two? So when I look at starting a project I have a luxury of machines and I choose the machine that I have that's best for the job. Um, if it's just involved straight stitching I can choose any of them. If it starts to get heavier I then choose do I need an industrial uh, which I would always use for really heavy leather like these cushions which I made so that's really quite heavy leather so you need to make sure you use it. I wouldn't want to use my brand new um, emb uh, embroidery fancy machine for that. Absolutely not. Um, so I would choose that. If something is really stretchy and flimsy and uh, difficult, then yes, I would want a machine which will have a, a feed, extra feed on it. So whether or not you use the vintage um, penguin attachment or like I'm working on some corduroy trousers at the moment which stretch all over the place like velvet. So I, I'm using my uh, Davis vertical feed for that and it works extremely well. So I can choose between all these. If you add up all the contraptions and adjustments and fancy stitches and everything else of these machines, it still comes to well under the price of one of these fantastic um, uh, electronic machines. Are there things about the electronic machines that I prefer over the vintage? Yes, actually. Um, the first is the needle threaders are rather nice. But it doesn't work on a wing needle, so if you're doing hem stitching, you can't use it there. You can't use it on a double needle, but for the majority of sewing, that's fine. Um, the tension automatically adjusts on most of these fancy new machines, so you'll never have a disaster or uh, having to adjust your tensions all the time between projects. It does it for you. That's pretty cool. Thread cutter, very nice. Even better with a lot of the new embroidery machines is they will cut between for the jump threads so you don't have to cut between all the different um, patterns dotted around some of the um, new hoops are enormous so that is just absolutely stunning there are a lot of amazing stitches you can design but the one that I found is is easiest on these machines is not so much related to sewing because I can sew pretty much anything on all of the machine you know combination of the machines I've got. I can sew pretty much anything. So yes I have, if I were to buy a machine it's got to sew, but where I think these win, 
machines win hands down is with all the new fancy features to allow you to do embroidery with alphabets and joining up the patterns and arranging them on the screen. I have just a, a simple low-end brother for that and it lacks a lot of the ease of use that these high-end uh, machines. So if I want to spend 17,000 Canadian dollars then buy one of these machines, absolutely. I would happily do it. Does it mean I'm going to get rid of my vintage? No. <laughs> but I could theoretically get rid of most of them, but the only thing I haven't seen is that these machines don't chain stitch yet. So my 401G does a chain stitch. My Davis vertical feed is a needle feed. So I wouldn't want to get rid of those because there's time, there are times when you need them. As far as everything else, yeah, I could pretty much do pretty much everything except for really heavy sewing. So there are my observations for the day. So if anyone wants to donate uh, $17,000 so I can buy a Husqvarna, Husqvarna designer epic, I'm, I'm quite happy to try it out. Um, and that's my word for the day.